Hello everyone and welcome to the Earth Recolonization Bureau and City Skylines. I've been playing City Skylines for about a week now and I wasn't really sure if I was gonna do videos with it or not. I was just sort of enjoying it. I've played all the SimCities except for the recent Abomination and so I've been a SimCity fan since the beginning and I, I enjoy this sort of game. Uh, but uh, that's a completely different thing from making videos about it. So I, I thought about uh, maybe just uh, playing it for fun but then I saw, saw some of the maps that people were making and so if we go to the content manager here I've uh, loaded a few of them in and basically I was mostly interested in the maps that were uh, the terrain of real cities though with some exceptions I've thrown in here and uh, that brought up an idea that probably other people have had I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly original in my ideas uh, but the idea of uh, Imagining that we have done something horrible and stupid and the earth has been wiped out uh, except for some select highways of course and uh, We have either humans returning somehow to recolonize the place or perhaps Kerbals if you'd like if uh, you are a follower of my Kerbal Space Program series we can imagine that humans have wiped themselves out somehow and then Kerbals can step in and recolonize this planet any way you look at it is fine, and uh, so yeah, uh, I haven't uh, got any mods activated here. As far as assets go, um, let's see, I would like a space shuttle test thing. I'm mostly a sci-fi guy in the first place. The Enterprise Park seems like an interesting thing, and a Jebediah's Rocket Company would be a nice touch. So uh, that is what I've got. I've got some Zen Park and XCOM stuff here. But I think I'll uh, stick to this for now, and uh, we'll move on. I, I have a, I have a liking for the Japanese stuff, so I'll probably throw some of that in at some point. And in fact, I think the map that we're going to do this time will be Sendai, Japan. And so the the way this is going to work is I'm going to spend a limited amount of time, probably three hours, on each map initially, and then uh, I'll take uh, suggestions about which one you'll want me to continue with. So uh, this time I'm going to start off with Sendai, I think, because I took a peek at it and it looked like an interesting map. So I'm going to start new game, and we are going to this particular coastal area of Japan, northern Japan, and uh, let us see what we can do there. Alright, so here we are. This is the map. Let's pause it for a sec. I'm probably going to be doing a mix of uh, real-time commentary and post-commentary simply because that will be more convenient. After all, there will be slow points during this, but I'll try and edit it properly. Anyway, so we're sort of in this this little area between where the river splits up or rejoins, if you like, depending on which direction you want to go, and we've got a coast here. I do not have, uh, as I showed you with the mods, I don't have the all areas unlockable mod, and that's because I plan on initially spending a limited amount of time on each map. Now uh, we should rename this, well, we'll just call it uh, Shin Sendai, or New Sendai, so that's fair enough. Okay, so uh, since I'm only spending a little bit of time with, on each map initially, and we'll continue on certain maps if you guys want to see that, uh, I don't have all areas unlockable. Alright, so with that in mind, let us start building stuff. Now, for my first road, I don't want it... Well, let's not even make it that close. Let's make it, like, around here. And that should unlock these guys, which is what I really want. No, no. I'm not particularly a precision sort of guy. I am going to build a bridge here, though. I think that'll be necessary pretty quickly. Uh, so don't look for that sort of thing, but I'll try and make things elegant. This is, uh, the channel is still Elegant Design Bureau. We are simply the Earth Col Recolonization Bureau segment of that. Okay, so I already, uh, sense that I'm going to be doing a lot of mumbling to myself rather than talking to you guys viewing. This is gonna be a minor issue, but... I'll figure out a way to keep it going here. So, the idea is I want to sort of populate this with the core of my my city, and or the oldest portion at least. And I want to put uh, more polluting facilities here, probably uh, 
maybe uh, tuck the industrial stuff. Well, let's keep... Uh, I don't know. I don't want it close to the coast. Probably around here will do. And then uh, commercial and residential along the shore. Sounds like a good plan. But uh, first things always, we need water. And so the flow of the river is going this way, obviously towards the ocean. And so let's have our water pump up here and our drainage down here. That should do the trick there. And then outlet. That's an interesting turn. Okay, let's start this out. So, uh, let's get some nice high-class housing here and start the timer. That could be safely residential. Let's get some commercial stuff near the highway. Got this little odd block there. That should be fine. This is a little bit more tucked in. Let's have more commercial stuff like here. Now, we need some industrial stuff. Probably need a road as an outlet. Let's see. Let's have one there. Temporary power line across. I don't really like the idea. What we can do is we can uh, put another wind farm over here and get power on this side. Uh, that doesn't want to cross that. Well, we'll need some of this going on. That. Yeah, that'll help out later as we fill up this area. Okay, and so that should power these guys. This, this slot here, we've got some funds. It's never a bad thing to add some more power when you can. That'll take care of them. Ah, not enough money. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. One thing that I am somewhat annoyed by, I don't know if there's any possibility of changing the names that we get. Um, so, for instance, if we go out here and we click on a car, you know, uh, just uh, having a different uh, set of names, like, you know, Kerbal names, or something like that, would be interesting to me. Because, uh, yeah, just a little bit more story, story element kind of thing. So, being able to configure that would be nice. But I'm not too sure if those names are hard-coded. I didn't see a mod for it or anything like that. So, just a thought. Anyway, but uh, that is a very, very minor detail. So far, I'm liking the game quite a lot, and I've been mostly playing on the default maps. This is the first time I'm building a city on one of these uh, uh, new maps from the modders. So, trying this out. Uh, some of the maps I downloaded uh, look good. Some of them are a little bit iffy. Uh, we'll see. We'll take them as they come. Okay, little hamlet. We have done that thing. Let's make sure. The time is progressing at a nice pace, and now let us add some more. Well, we, let's let's get the services in. So we do need to actually build some sort of roadway so we can cross this and put the dump over here. So sort of sad putting the dump at the tip of this. You'd want nice big buildings here, but uh, we'll clear that up at some other time. We can move the dump's contents to a different location. Up to sleep, steep, space. Up, oh, there we go. Uh, looks a bit odd, but I'll take it. It's just so that we can extend the dump after all. Now, healthcare. Let's not put it in the, that zone. This looks like a good place, but we're going to blow up something if we do put it there. Don't want to put it in this dead end area. I guess this will be a good place. Yes, yeah, smiley faces. Okay, more residential. Probably goes without saying, but I'm not doing things optimally or anything like that. I'm just sort of... Well, I'm, I'm sort of going by looks, I think. 
still got practice with this program after all. Only been at it for a short amount of time. Oh no, that's not a good idea. Okay, school time. Let's see. That's not a bad location. Ah, it doesn't quite cover these guys. Okay. That's a problem. Sorry, I'm gonna have to D zone. You... Actually, I don't know if the school will fit properly there. Maybe this location would be better for dezoning. Here, you can keep your zoning. Okay, uh, school here. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're the village. So, fire will be a thing. So let's plan for that. And ah, it doesn't want to be on the curve there. No, I always have problems with the curves. These fire departments. That's not bad. Police department I want more in the commercial areas. Oh, we'll have to go with there. Left too much space in here. Can't really build more districts when we're having severe power disruption here. Brownouts and all. Okay. Come on, 6,000. Well, you know what? Let's take out a loan. I can't have people losing power like this. So. Loans. Yeah, let's take that one. And let's build up our power grid a little bit more. Highway's already going to be noisy, so... Putting it there probably wouldn't hurt. Okay, let's see how that goes. 35 mega megawatts, not mega newtons, megawatts. Okay, so now we can build up our residential, and I think we need to extend over here more. Okay, so more waterfront property, riverfront property. Uh, yep, let's give it to these guys. We'll make sure they have power and water in a sec. Still not much industrial demand. I think we'll keep this stretch commercial. No point having residential on a big road like that. Let's have a road going like this, though. Well, not the, not the friendliest spot for residents with the railroad going by like that, but I've lived next to railroad tracks before, so... Can't say it doesn't happen. Let's get moving here. So, I'm planning to play for three hours on each map and see how far I get. Though maybe it be it would be better to play to a particular date. I haven't really pinned that down yet. Well, we've got other things that we could make. Well, what was going on there? Didn't quite see. Yeah, I think parks should be a thing. Let's try and increase our land value. Parks are huge in this thing, too. Now those cute little plazas. I'm halfway tempted to bulldoze some of those industrials and throw a park in there. But let's... A park right next to the railroad? I don't know. Maybe right around here would be good. So, let us check on our services. Healthcare availability seems okay, but average health is not great. Oh, severe fire hazards. Okay. Um, that won't really help this area very much. Seems like this area is really bad off, but... Maybe we should bulldoze something to help them... Right, well, this one will have to go. Okay, crime rate is okay. High school available, uh, not el elementary school availability, availability I mean, is uh, pretty good. Graduated citizens, well, 
got a long way to go on that. Okay, so let us continue building more residential. We need more roadways. Okay, so we clearly need some other area for industrials. This is going to get full up pretty quickly now. We could extend this way, but I'd like to limit how much industrial concentration we have. So I want to build another industrial park on this side here, uh, where the river turns all mucky. It's just... Fair enough, right? Okay, so... We probably need a big road to get to it, though. And we haven't really built this up. Maybe it is the time to upgrade this road before things get bad. Or maybe... Maybe... Make this one bigger? Or maybe we'll make it down here. Yeah, I think that's better. That's more like it. Not great, but okay. Oh, I had to have a little... They turned it into a proper bridge. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess it is pretty big. And that looks good. Let's get more industry in here. Well, no. No, that's not what I want. We don't have mass transit yet. Gotta... Hope we get some of that soon. Now, these guys are gonna need a fire department. We don't have enough money for it, though, right now. Gonna have to save up for that. Do they at least have water? Sort of. Let's get some more. Hmm, traffic seems a little bit tight here, doesn't it? Is it bad bad, or is it... It's pretty bad. Hmm. Haven't made any... Uh, can we make on-ramps, off-ramps yet? No. So we'll have to wait to make any sort of connection to this side here. Okay, more residential needed. You guys probably need a school somewhere, don't you? School availability is pretty good, though. There's some houses that I don't have it, but apparently we're, we've got two elementary schools and that's good enough. High school availability is pretty bad, since we don't have any. Might want to throw one of those on this side. But we're going to have to save up for that. I'm going to orient myself. How are we... Okay, so the coast is there. Got to keep that in mind, after all. Oop, boomtown. Yeah, so I, li I like this idea of having this major road here. That's good. We're going to have to name districts at some point. No, actually, that will be a different policy. So my policy will be that if we decide to continue this map after these three hours... Then we'll name districts and do all that. But we'll do a few different uh, recolonization cities first, and then we'll decide which one to continue. Oh, noise pollution. Let's see about that. Ah, uh, well, that's where we expected it to be. Pretty quiet on the, on the riverside. That's not bad. Okay, we've got some water issues here. Do we have to dispose of dead bodies yet? Yeah, we need to build a cemetery somewhere. Uh, I hope they don't mind if I build it, build it over here. Eh, that might be a little bit mean. Who wants to go right next to a garbage dump when they're trying to... trying to mourn their loss? Um, okay. Fire station? Uh, fire station we need over here more than anything else. Yeah. No, we're playing slow. Come on. Looks like crime rate is okay. How about... Let's save up for a high school. And I think we can build a high school now. So let's make... Well, it should be pretty close to the main roadway, right? I suppose if it was really Kerbal's colonizing or recolonizing Earth, they probably wouldn't shirk going with the nuclear power plant pretty darn quickly. No, I, I don't think they would mind that at all. And nuclear power has a lot to recommend it, by the way. But... 
But only if you do it properly. Okay, essential services, tell me what you need. Cemetery usage is fine. Healthcare availability is not great around here. You've got a place right here. Can you not get to it? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Huh? That was a brief spat of no water. Well, far be it for me to skimp on healthcare. I think it's mainly because they're in a polluted zone. That's why their healthcare isn't particularly good. Ah, no more money. No, oh, we'll hold off. We've got to put one over here. Maybe we should transplant that one. Yeah, I think I like that idea better. Let's see, how much to move it? Relocate building, let's say... Put it over here. Whoa, okay, hold on. Let's do that. Now, probably it's power that we need. Okay, these guys are perennially out of workers, so we should just extend our residential areas to closer to them. Okay, that looks like more people can get in there. Could build residential here, but let's hold off on that. There's not much demand for industry anyway. Build more residential here. Alright, I need to check how uh, elementary school availability is. Wow, still pretty good. Not everybody getting educated, but still seems to be okay. Fire hazard, not the worst I've ever seen, but improvement is possible. Let's, let's build that extra fire station. Let's put it here. Oh, we've got some rough terrain here. I love rough terrain. That's great stuff. We really need more parks, don't we? Let me fill this space up, though. We've, we've got uh, a lot of residential demand that needs to be fulfilled. Landfill? Is the landfill full? Oh, boy. Okay. Well, you guys are getting a landfill over here somewhere. Not close to residential, guys. Here. That's best. Okay. Now, while I'm paused, let's get this area fixed up right. Uh-oh, we're running out of funds again. Gotta get residents in. Unpause. Please, pay your taxes. Okay, that will be fine. Let us populate. Big paintbrush. Okay, trash collection. Can we build an incinerator yet? No. Okay, what's the situation with you? Operating normally, but getting pretty full. Okay, more commercial. Always like to see them want more commercial. But these guys are getting abandoned. Let's have Riverfront Commercial. Let's have more Riverfront Commercial here. This is going to be a little commercial district. So, colonization is proceeding apace. We have more than 5,000 residents now. <laughs> Not all of them have water, though. Whoa, water bit play. Hey, hold on. Pumping capacity is zero because what? We need to place some pumps somewhere else, maybe. Pumps are pretty cheap. They're expensive to operate, but they're cheap in general. Maybe pumps on the other side of the river? I mean, yeah, on this side. Let's get one here. We'll have power. And we can hook it up like this. Seems excessive, but... Can't be having constant drop-offs in that. Power, though... Well, our electricity production is fine. I forgot to check if we have some resources available. Should get some of that done. Let's see if there's some specialization for these industries that we could take advantage of. 
Okay, so yeah, uh, resources, resources, natural resources. Well, uh, fertile land. Not exactly the thing to do right now, build a lot of farms around our, the center of our city. Okay, anyway, busy town. Some more cash for us to use. Yeah, I mean, uh, looking out, lots of fertile land. Surprise, well, that, that should definitely be forest. Oop, oil patch. But perhaps that's what did the humans in in the first place. Will these new colonists repeat the mistakes of the past? Who knows? Could build a big hospital. But they seem to be all getting healed, or mostly. Fire hazard. That's the big thing. Lots of fire hazard. Crime rate is pretty darn high now. Put a police station here. So I wonder when we get some of the... Oh, finally, elementary school availability is a thing. Okay. I wonder when we get those, like, the Shibadai Kerbin space... spaceship stuff. Pretty far away. Let's see. Unique buildings. What is that? Space shuttle test. Oh, it's... Well, that's trivial. I, well, I, well, the upkeep is pretty high. Well, we are a proper space city, right? Uh, where do we put this? Uh, let me make sure its benefits aren't... I mean, it doesn't seem to have any benefits, so... Its benefits aren't overpowered. It's got huge noise pollution. Um, let's hold off on that. That might be a thing to think about. Statue of Wealth. Well, we haven't really built a city center. Hold off on that as well. The Enterprise Park. We can't quite get that yet. Okay. Let's put a nice big park around here. Is that the biggest one? That's the biggest one. I uh, can't fit... Ah, oh, tough to fit these parks sometimes. Okay, that helps some residents. Yeah, let's let's beautify the place. Okay, so I'm a little bit more than an hour into my city construction. This is what the city looks like overall. Uh, we've got five thousand eight hundred eighty-nine residents. Not very quick, I know. Uh, I'm sort of taking my time here, but yeah, we're we're just proceeding apace. And, of course, 7,500, I believe, is a big mark, right? Um, 8,000. 8,000 for Big Town. We haven't really extended beyond our initial plot. Gonna have to look into that soon, given the way things are, but we still got space here. Don't need to rush things. And we need more residential, lots more residential. So yeah, I got into City Skylines because I actually watch EJ underscore SA on Twitch, at, usually for a Kerbal Space Program. He's a big Kerbal Space Program guy and, you know, semi-famous for his uh, wonderful shuttles, stock shuttles. And so watching him on Twitch, he got into City Skylines and I sort of eventually got sucked into it as well. So I credit him entirely. Uh, he basically sold City Skylines to me. I do not have much of a gaming budget, if it's not at all obvious. Okay, let us make sure that our services are nice and neat. How about healthcare? Still seems fine. Fire safety is as low as it's been in a long time. Crime rate is tight. Uh, elementary school availability could use some work. These guys are poor sods. We need to get something a little bit closer to them. How about one here? Ah, uh, okay. Well, those guys are happy. High school available. Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. 
Um, I think you guys need a high school, don't you? Put it near a park. Ah, uh, waves of happiness spreading across the landscape. Now, bus depot is gonna cost us some money, but I'm pretty close to it, so I'll, I'll get there in a sec. Hmm, getting three roads to come together like this. Probably don't want that one there. All right, let's get some industry here. I think we need to save this region for services. Ah, a bit difficult to get to trash over there. Ooh, people dying, people dying. Um, I think this is a case where I am going to build a cemetery. Ah, there's not much space. Okay, well, if I build a cemetery here, will it be able to get to you guys? Yeah, I think so. This this water source keeps blinking in and out. What's up with that? Water pumping station, I mean. Uh, this isn't very good for water. We should probably... And this is ugly. There isn't too much water to pump, honestly. Well, let's just add one more here. What is that symbol? Well, what is this? Too few services. Too few services. I actually haven't seen that before. Which services would you like? Water availability is fine. Well, trash is not great. Healthcare. Fire department you've got. Crime rate is reasonably low. Maybe some transport. Uh, we wanted to build that. Okay, let's, let's hold off a sec. I definitely want to build a nice bus depot. Let's have the bus go down this way. Head down this side. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem, our little turnabout there. Let's go around like that. We don't need to stop there. We're going to have to double back in this sec section, I think. Right. Probably need more than one bus line for this huge place, but right now... I'll just try and, sort of like a puzzle, trying to get as much of this as possible, though I'm not really pushing that. Yeah, complete the line. Now we still got some... Okay, we can unpause now. Garbage piling up. How long till an incinerator? Oh, so close. Come on, I want incinerators. Lots of incinerators. <laughs> okay, we've got three. It's it's not because our landfills are full. It's just that it's, uh, I haven't made it very easy for them to get to places. This is the big problem. Are they only using one? No, they are using multiple lanes. They're just backed up a bit. Oh, there's a fire thing going there. Okay, I need to build out this road. Let's upgrade. We're going to have to destroy some buildings. Okay, uh, where else do we have serious traffic issues? Uh, well, I built that as big as I could, but I guess I really need to flesh out the public transport side of things. We don't have subways yet. That'd be real helpful. Yeah, but that's, that's about as big as it gets. Maybe uh, this little artery here could be made a little bit bigger, but it doesn't seem to be very busy. Yeah. The outward stuff isn't very busy. It's these stupid off-ramps. Can we build on-ramps and off-ramps yet? We could get people into the city a different way. Yes, yes we can. Okay, so instead of all coming through here, let's have them enter. Let's have them enter but never leave. Um, I haven't had much experience with the off-ramps and on-ramps. 
Okay, so that's in. Do we really care if they go out? Now, of course, we're not servicing this side. Well, that's a very awkward way of doing that. This is definitely out of the box city planning here. Yeah, I, I, I just don't want my residents leaving. Is that a problem? There. You can leave if you want to go that way. Now, I don't think that's going to fully alleviate this traffic jam here. Might do a little bit. But hey, if you want to come in, maybe you can come in this way too. Let's see. We're, we'll worry about the details later, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure some cities do stuff like this. Oh, population 8,000. Now, what did that allow me to buy? Incinerators. Yes. 